What up, Hope is Gits? It's your girl Skitten back at it. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Um, I know my voice probably sounds a little bit weird. It's because your girl is sick again. Yay, funsies. Um, I'm like super bummed about being sick, but at the same time, I'm like so proud of myself because. I mean y'all remember like last year I was dealing with like a ton of health issues and I was literally sick like every couple of weeks and like this year like I really just made a dedicated effort to just making sure like I was eating better and resting more and just taking care of myself in a in a generally better way you know what I mean like don't get me wrong like I still eat hella junk food and I snack all the time and I still drink a lot of coffee and stuff you know but just like generally just making like small improvements here and there and like it really truly made a difference to my health um, I finally went to the doctor and like they told me the stuff that I'm allergic to and so like I finally have like allergy pills so like every time I have an out like an issue with my allergies it doesn't have to turn into a sinus infection which then turns into something worse so I'm super proud of myself for just generally being more healthy this year than I was last year so even though this week has been very humbling like no just because I've been healthy doesn't mean I'm fucking invincible now like I definitely do feel a lot better completely unnecessary health update but you're welcome your mama is healthy I wanted to revisit the nanny I just honestly felt like the couple are you kidding me really now that I'm about to get into the video the battery's dying I really just felt like the compilation of the nanny that we watched with the discord and with Chavez here just really wasn't the best representation of the funniest parts of the nanny so a lot of you guys suggested in the comments like bro like why are you watching this compilation watch Niles and CC Burns and I was like yes because that was what made the whole show that's part of what made the whole show so memorable like the Niles versus CC uh, I was gonna say aesthetic the Niles versus CC dynamic really made the nanny like like so good so I went and found some Niles and CC Burns compilations um, so we're gonna watch the one from season one here and then if we have enough time we'll watch the one from season two as well um, but I definitely just wanted to get some of those in for you guys I was so happy to see that you guys also appreciated the nanny because that show like I feel like really molded a lot of my childhood um so let's go ahead and get started with these Niles and CC Burns I, I, my fingers are crossed that they have some really good ones on here I'm ready sorry to interrupt sir I see you're working hard as always Miss Babcock theater has always been a passion of mine mm, I can't wait to see what you'll be mounting next <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I have the most fabulous news. They've selected a dilettante for the biosphere. He wants these contracts in London by morning. Well, here, hop on. With the time difference, you'll just take it. Ugh! Just so effortless with it. Niles was just always ready to slide in with something, man. Daddy? Did I miss the wedding? That twitch becomes you, is it new? <laughs> see, see, this is a side of you that's rather unexpected. Maxwell, I adore children. It's a natural thing, a female thing. I hear some females eat their young. <laughs> Your outfit is nice, too. Of course, dear, it's an Adolfo. As in Hitler? <laughs> That one wasn't as good. Like, it was good, but it wasn't like a zinger, you know? It's kind of just like, it's an, like, you know? You know, it just didn't have that pizzazz that most of Niles' burns have. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying. Maxwell, darling. This bitch always touching up on Maxwell like, damn, how get off friends, man. I'm begging you. We just have to do it. I find the whole idea repulsive. Way to play hard to get, sir. Well, well, no barbs, no wisecracks. Niles, have you been taking butler lessons? I'm lulling you into a false sense of security. Where's Maxwell? He's gone upstairs to discuss with Miss Fine the possibility of having sex in her room. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that bitch froze. It's just that if you're having a business meeting, you'd think you'd want to take your business partner. Yes, you'd think, wouldn't you? Aren't you going to say anything obnoxious? I wouldn't kick a dog when she's down. Just plain tomato juice. Don't you have anything hard? Not for you. <laughs> Don't look at me. I wanted to do 12 Angry Men. Mm, but they didn't want to do you. I can't see. I can't remember. Does Cece ever get anything in on Niles in the first season? Like, because I don't, I feel like in the first season, she was mostly just Niles' punching bag. Like, but maybe it's just watching this compilation. I haven't watched the show in a minute. So maybe I'm wrong, question mark? But I don't feel like in the first season, she really, she really got to kind of go at it with Niles. She was kind of just there to be like, uh, uh, uh. You know, like we were just watching this fight and the announcers were like, yeah, he's there to get hit. He's just there to get hit. And my husband was like, well, you know, that's typically not a compliment. And I just like looked at my husband like, I know, sir. I know that somebody being there to get hit in a fight is probably not a good thing. But basically that was Cece. She's just there to get hit, like. Max, well, you tease. You wouldn't leave me hanging. No, we'd cut you down in a week or two. Jesus! Were you just with the children? Yeah, why? Mmm, <laughs> Lysol, my mother's fragrance. <laughs> Can't be too careful, germs everywhere. Nobody touch me. We'll try to restrain ourselves. <laughs> All right, you've seen her. She's fine. Let's go. Miss Babcock, you look gorgeous. Much too young to be going to a reunion. Of Redwoods, maybe. <laughs> Dear Niles, always so witty, especially for a servant. At least when I offer something, people take it. <laughs> Vacation? That's a splendid idea. I've been dying to get away. Well, now's your chance, since I'll be out of town. Oh. I hear Club Med has a desperate women with no prospects package. Oh, Lord. Well, if you'll all excuse me, I have a life to get on with. I have a standing invitation with a certain senator. Hmm, what some politicians won't do for a vote. Maxwell, I hope you don't mind, but Brighton insisted we trade places. Ah. Uh, there. If you're looking for the hot water bottle, that's not it. Just like this woman's desperation, like it's so cringe to me now, but at the time I found it so freaking hilarious. Like, ugh, like lady, please, it's just not that into you. Oh, was that your sister? Oh, I hope you said hi from me. Why does Miss Fine know about it? He talks in his sleep. <laughs> Nigel, I'd like you to meet my business partner, Miss C.C. Babcock. Uh, actually, I'm more like part of the family. Yes, we keep putting her out at night and she keeps finding her way back. Nigel! Well, in front of company, sir? Does it have to be in front of company? I don't think so. Well, if your relatives won't come without a feedback, I'll be happy to give them their money back and sell their tickets on the street. I'll drop you off at your usual corner. <laughs> Cece, how come your dog hates you? Well, after all, he is a male. <laughs> uh, Miss Babcock, there's a gentleman on line three who claims to be your father, and I admire him for having the guts to admit it. I would like him to meet the man in my life. Well, by all means, bring him along. <laughs> delusional. She was delusional! And Maxwell was having none of it. Like, the show wants to pretend that Maxwell is just oblivious and he had no idea, blah, blah, blah. No, Maxwell knew, okay? That nigga knew. He was a fully, he was fully aware. I'll blow him up and put him in his usual chair. 
Oh, Nanny Fine's pageant has turned into a complete disaster. Niles, break out the bubbly. You have no power here. Be gone before someone drops a house on you. She looked up like, bitch, so ma'am, are you truly worried? Are you? Well, that was a great compilation of burns. I hope we get to see... Oh... You know what? For an English major, I'm pretty effing, flipping, bleeping dumb. This says right here in the title, Niles' CC Burns. Not Niles and CC Burns. It says Niles with an apostrophe after it, meaning the, the burns belong to Niles. The CC Burns... I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. See, this is what happens when you get sick. You forget basic punctuation clues. I should have been known that the burns that Cece put on Niles wasn't going to be in here. Because that's not what the title says. Well, Etsy who's in, uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have any of uh, any particular favorites among Niles' CC burns. Niles, Niles, Niles. Amongst Niles' CC burns. And other than that, peace out, ho biscuits. It's getting lit.